Based on what is available on test server, I present you top 6 of top vehicles coming in an update 1.89 locked on. The dev server is a way to test things, so there are going to be changes, but we can already have some basic idea of how things will look. Place number 6, Italian Ariete C1. Despite being top Italian MBT, on dev server it had rank 6 and battle rating one step lower than the rest nation's top tanks, at 9.7. And that is understandable, as it can be easily penetrated by those tanks almost everywhere frontally. Maneuverability is enough to have a comfortable gameplay, but the tank is not among the fastest. But nevertheless, it shoots projectile that is similar, or in some cases identical to the tanks at 10.0, and that gives it a good chances against them. But because it's technically not a 7th rank vehicle and has lower BR, Ariete C1 struggles when compared to top tanks of other nations and gets the last place. Place number 5, USA M1A1 Abrams. One of five endgame vehicles at rank 7, and has the shortest reload time of all MBTs of 5 seconds. In addition to that, its projectile penetrates the most armor. But because all top MBTs shells have more or less similar values, the difference in penetration of 20mm is very insignificant. Abrams also has the biggest top speed and most powerful engine, giving it a slight advantage in maneuverability. The armor in current state of dev server is very small and unable to protect from top shells frontally. Despite it's only test server and things are likely to change, the protection is the reason why it receives 5th place. Place number 4, British Challenger 2. The heaviest MBT on this list. In addition to that, it has the weakest engine and you can already imagine how slow it is. But if you add the maximum speed of 56 kph, which is the slowest, you will have an idea of how it feels compared to other MBTs. Protection is good, as always, Challenger has very well armored turret and upper frontal plate, but again as always it has a huge lower frontal plate as a weak spot and by now everyone already knows where to shoot. Might be a tough opponent when playing hull down, but because of very noticeable disadvantage in maneuverability, it receives 4th place. Place number 3, Soviet T-80U second of fastest tanks of all MBTs, and in addition to a maximum speed, it has the best weight to horsepower ratio, so accelerates really fast. The armor is less than Challenger's, but still very good and will often save you, just like you would expect from Soviet armor. When someone appears suddenly, slowest turret rotation speed might be the reason that you will only get to shoot second, and if started to shooting at the same time with your enemy, you will have to wait for the reload time, which is over 7 seconds, and that is longer than any other MBT on this list. And that is the reason why despite good speed and protection, the tank gets 3rd place. Place number 2, German Leopard 2A5. Second heaviest MBT after the Challenger, and at the same time, second most powerful engine after Abrams. That gives it perfect balance between being very well armored and still have a good maneuverability. The armor is quite tricky. A little enemy shell's deviation up or down might be the difference between penetration or not. When compared to a challenger, which weak spot is huge, Leopard might take few shots for enemy until they can hit a weak spot. That gives Leopard the most survivability of all top tier tanks as enemy shells usually just fail to penetrate you frontally. Since not being killed or damaged greatly increases your chances in battles, this is the second place on the list and the first place of main battle tanks. First place, Soviet 2S6 Tunguska, the only SPA at rank 7. It has no analogs in other nations. It's slower than any main battle tank and 9mm of armor means that it cannot tank even heavy machine guns, and high explosive ammunition will most likely one-shot it. But the reason why it received the first place is because this machine can do more than it's designed to do. 
as even if its main targets are aircraft, this SPA still has a good chance as to kill top tier MBTs frontally. The reason for that are 8 very fast controllable rockets that can be launched one by one with about 1 second delay and have enough explosive to penetrate 41mm of armor. When used against the main target, aircraft, these rockets explode automatically if they get close enough. That is very helpful against helicopters, who hang in one place at big distance using air-to-ground missiles. When used against MBTs, spamming of such rockets with a little bit of luck can lead to explosion breaking the tank's roof, which would be otherwise unreachable for APDSFS shells. If MBT is standing sideways, because how little side armor they have, Tunguska is able to penetrate up to 70mm with its main guns. SPAA is still not the best way to kill tanks, but just because it's able to be versatile and adapt to what enemy you are facing, Tunguska receives first place on this list. All material is taken from a dev server, so expect a lot of things to change when update goes live.